こんにちは、ジャパニーズアーモのミサです。Hey guys! So in the previous video, we learned how to make the past tense, which was quite simple, right? You make te form and then change te into ta. So for example, taberu becomes tabe, ta if you want to say I ate informally. And remember that you can use this informal form when only talking to friends or your family. In the last lesson, I didn't actually do the verb to go, right? So we want to start from there. So to go is iku, right? And then iku has got ku at the end, but it's an exception. So do you remember how we change it? Itte, itte. So that's go, right? And then here to say went, you need to change te into ta, so you get itta, itta, itta. That actually can mean two things. Went and also said. You is to say, right? You and then u ending always changes into small z and te. So you also becomes itte, like to go. So itta is said and told or went. So if you want to say I went to Japan, you can already do that formally, which is Nihon ni. Ikimashita, right? But if you want to do informally, you say Nihon ni itta. Nihon ni itta. So that's I went to Japan. But then I went to Japan is different from I've been to Japan. So I'm going to teach you how to say I've been to somewhere, I've done something before. You'd say Nihon ni itta if you say when you went. Or someone asked you, what did you do? And then you say, I went to Japan. Something like that. For example, if you went to Japan last year, do you remember how we say last year? Kyonen. Kyonen. This year, kotoshi. Last year, kyonen. Next year, rainen. So, I went to Japan last year. Kyonen, nihon ni itta. Kyonen, nihon ni itta. If somebody asks, what did you do today? How do you say today? Kyo. So, kyo, what did. So, what did you do? Formally, we say, nani o shimashita ka? Right? We use the verb suru, shimas. For the informal speech, you say, nani o shita? Or nani shita? More naturally, nani shita? Which is quite easy to say. Kyo nani shita is how people would ask you, what do you do today? So if somebody asks you, kyo nani shita, and then you went to Japan, then you'd say, nihon ni itta. Nihon ni itta. And this ni particle can also be omitted, and you can just say, nihon itta. You probably didn't go to Japan today, so you could probably say, I went to work today. How do you say work? Shigoto. So you can say, Kyo shigoto ni itta or Kyo shigoto itta without any particle. But if you want to say I've been to Japan, we have to put something extra after the past tense. We say itta koto ga aru informally and itta koto ga arimas formally. Actually, we haven't covered this aru. Or arimas, so I should make a video about it. But these aru means to exist, or there is, or it could even mean I have. So, for example, if you say something ga aru, it means something exists, or there is something, or I have something. I'm not gonna go into deep about this one today, but for example, if I say pen ga aru, that means there is a pen, or I have a pen. Kamera ga Aru. I have a camera. There is a camera. And then you can say it formally, you change aru into arimasu. So, kamera ga arimasu. And if you want to say I don't have a camera, you can change arimasu into arimasen. Right? Kamera ga arimasen. And the negation of aru is actually really weird. It's just nai. Nai. Do you remember nai from the adjectives? Like, kawaii becomes kawaii ku nai. That's not cute, right? So, nai is just non. There isn't 
I don't have. So I can say, お金がない I don't have money. 時間がない I don't have time. Anyways, if you say, いったことがある And this koto as well, I really haven't really learned it, but koto can be roughly translated into something like event, matter, or thing, or what you've done. It's mainly about action. Like if you look up in a dictionary, it might say thing, but not as an object, but more like what things you've done. But this gets a bit complicated, so just remember for now. That koto ga aru literally means I have an experience. I have done something before. So, whenever you've done something before, ever, you'd say ta koto ga aru informally. Or more informally, you'd get rid of the ga particle and say koto aru. So, I've been to Japan informally, you say nihon i. たことある。That's really natural and informal. 日本行ったことある。If you want to say this formally, you would say 日本に行ったことがあります。So put the particles back in and then change あるとあります。So when I talk to students for the first time, I always ask, Have you been to Japan? And I wouldn't ask you like 日本に行きましたかを日本に行った Because it kind of sounds like maybe I saw a souvenir in the background and then I ask, oh, did you go to Japan like recently? So if I want to say, have you been to Japan ever before? I would have to say, 日本に行ったことがありますか Or, 日本に行ったことがある And if you want to say, I've never been to Japan, you can just change a r i m a s into a r i m a s e n or a r u into nai. So, formally, you'd say, 日本に行ったことがありません日本に行ったことがありません Remember, you don't have to do anything with But you don't want to negate it. Only thing you want to negate is a r i m a s So, Nihon ni itta koto ga a r i m a s e n That's I've never been to Japan. And if you want to say that informally, you say Nihon ni itta koto ga nai. Or more informally, Nihon itta koto nai. Nihon itta koto nai. This is quite short, so let's repeat together. 日本行ったことない。So, if you've been to Japan, leave a comment saying, 日本行ったことある。Or, if you have never been to Japan, but learning Japanese because you want to come here, you'd say, 日本行ったことない。Alright, so it sounds a bit long. Well, it's definitely longer than just 行った。But, Try to remember it. So, have you been to Japan? I would say, Nihon itta koto aru. If I'm not in Japan, if I'm actually in Japan, I would say, Have you come to Japan? So, I'd use the verb kuru instead of iku. Because in Japanese, iku is always going somewhere, being away from where I am right now. Right. But kuru is all about someone coming towards me. If I'm talking about the future, I'm coming back here again where I am right now. So it's a bit different from English because in English you can say, I'm coming to Japan if you're talking from other person's perspective. But in Japanese, if you are going to Japan from like America, Australia, somewhere. Then you'd have to always say Nihon ni iku, not Nihon ni kuru. Okay, so you can't say I'm coming to your place. I would have to say I'm going to your place. So if I want to say, Have you come to Japan? You'd have to make the past tense of kuru, which is. Do you remember how we make it? Kite is how we say come, right? Kite. Kite, and then you want to change te into ta. So, kita, kita, came. 
So I came to Japan would be Nihon ni kita. But if I want to say I've come to Japan, then you'd say Nihon ni kita koto ga arimasu. O koto ga aru. Or more informally, koto aru. If I want to ask you, have you come to Japan? I would say Nihon ni kita koto ga arimasu ka? Or Nihon kita koto aru? Nihon kita koto aru? If I want to just say I said Mount Fuji, then how would you say it? Mount Fuji, we say Fuji san. Fuji san. So Fuji san o mita. Mita, informally. But if I want to say I've seen Mount Fuji, like before, then I would say Fuji san o mita koto ga aru. Or Fuji san o mita koto aru. And then if you want to say I've never seen Mount Fuji, then you change aru into nai. Nai. So, Fuji san o mita koto nai. And then also you can get rid of the o particle as well. So, I could say Fuji san mita koto nai. Fuji san mita koto nai. If you've never watched anime, how would you say that? First thing. I watched anime and then put koto nai. So, anime mita. I watched anime. Anime mita koto nai. I've never watched anime. What about I've never heard it? I've never heard of it. To hear, I've never listened. So, to listen, we say kiku, right? Kiku. So, kiku becomes ku ending. Kite, right? That's listen. Kite. But if I want to say listened, the past tense, then you say kita. Kita. So kiku, kita. For example, I listen to music. Then music, ongaku, right? So ongaku o kita or ongaku kita. But let's forget about ongaku. If you want to say, I've never heard of it, then you say, Kita koto nai. Kita koto nai. I've never heard of it. I've never heard. Of course, it can mean, I've never listened to it. So your friend says, Have you listened to do, 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 do. So, like the name of the song. No, I've never listened to it. You can say, Kita koto nai. How would the friend ask you, Have you listened to this? Like before, you'd say, Ore kita koto aru. Formally, kore o kita koto ga arimasu ka? Of course, you can say kono kyoku. Kyoku, do you remember? We learned it from the last lesson. Kyoku. Kono kyoku kita koto aru. Have you listened to this song before? What about a sentence like, have you slept in a class before? So, class, you say kurasu. So, in a class, Kurasu de to sleep. Neru becomes neta for the past tense. Slept. Neta. So, kurasu de neta koto aru o kurasu de neta koto ga arimasu ka? Have you fell asleep or have you slept in a class? And if I want to say, yes, I have. Then you don't have to repeat the whole sentence. You can say hi, arimas formally, and informally you can say mm, aru. Yeah, you don't have to say neta koto aru. You can say aru. But of course, it's not wrong to say neta koto aru. So yeah. And if you have never slept in a class, then you say neta koto nai or Nai. Or formally, you'd say arimasen or neta koto ga arimasen. Yeah, so have you guys slept in a class before? Kurasu de neta koto aru. Misa sensei wa aru. If I wanna say, have you talked to a Japanese person before? You change the verb to talk into the past tense. How do you say to talk? Hanasu. Hanasu. So the te form is hanashite, 
Alright, so su and suru shite. Hana su, hana shite. And then spoke, talked would be hana shita. Hana shita. In English, you mainly say talk to, we say talk with. So, with someone, we say someone to, right? To particle can mean both and and with. So, Japanese person? Nihon jin. With a Japanese person. Nihon jin to. And then, hanashita. So, I spoke to a Japanese person. Then you say, Nihon jin to hanashita. But if you want to say, I've talked, I've spoken with a Japanese person before, like I have this experience. Then you say, Nihon jin to hanashita koto ga arimasu. Or just koto aru. So if I ask you, have you talked to a Japanese person before? Nihon jin to hanashita koto aru. Oh, and I wonder if you guys know what matcha is to know. We say shitte iru informally and shitte imasu formally. So maybe you can guess that this verb is in the te form. Te imasu, te iru, shitte iru, shitte they must you know so this is not the dictionary form actually the dictionary form is shiru shiru this is more like to find out shitteiru is like you found out and then now you know it shitteiru one thing you have to be really careful is that when you want to say i don't know you can't negate that te imasu or te iru bit so you didn't say shitte nai or shitte imasen informally you say shiranai and then formally, shirimasen. So I don't know, it's shirimasen. So if somebody says, shitte imasu ka? You can either say, hai shitte imasu, or shirimasen, shirimasen. Never say shitte imasen, always shirimasen. Everyone makes this mistake. Every person I've thought makes this mistake. So remember, shitte imasu, Shirimasen. So, do you know matcha? I can ask like, matcha o shitte imasu ka? And in case you don't, matcha is like, like green tea, but really thick and nice, like green powdery tea. Um, you can look it up. It's really good for you as well. And then, yeah. Well, personally, I love it. Maybe some people find it. Like, oh, if you've never drunk green tea before, but I'm obsessed with matcha. Matcha daisuki. So, if I want to say, have you drunk matcha before? Then, how do you say to drink? Nomu, right? So, the te form or de form is nonde. Nonde. So, the past tense is nonda. So, have you drunk before would be nonda koto ga arimasu ka or nonda koto aru? So I can just simply put the matcha at the beginning and say matcha o nonda koto ga arimasu ka or matcha nonda koto aru? And if you have, leave a comment and say matcha nonda koto aru. You could say, matcha nonda koto aru, daisuki, or matcha nonda koto aru, demo, suki janai. I don't like it. Alright, so to review the past tense, you change te into ta, abeta. But if you want to say, I've eaten something before, then you want to say, tabeta koto ga arimasu, or tabeta koto aru. Okay? Alright, so I'm looking forward to seeing your comments. Please give a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Ciao, mata ne. Bye bye.